plaintiff, Patrick Carroll, says he met the defendant when he started dating Patrick's cousin, and they became good friends, despite the fact that they are complete opposites. Patrick claims the defendant is unmotivated and can't pay his child support. And Patrick's suing him for cell phone bills and a termination fee. Defendant David Buya insists he is responsible and has always held down a job. David claims he had the cell phone for three years prior to Patrick canceling the service. And the only time he stopped paying the bill was when he lost his job. All right, start with you. First of all, I'd like to say you look dashing today, David. <laughs> um, I met Dave in 2010. He was dating my cousin at the time. Um, so like we became friends pretty instantaneously, just given the circumstances. Did he look dashing when you met him? Maybe, I don't remember that clearly. Um, <laughs> anyway, so Dave and I are pretty different people. For example, he doesn't seem very motivated to pay his bills. I work seven days a week. I don't even know what year it is right now. You don't know what year it is? <laughs> it's All right, I really got a surprise too, I even made it here today. <laughs> you get high and he doesn't. Oh, no. <laughs> You're dashing, he's not. <laughs> Go ahead. Essentially, all I'm hearing is Dave can't keep a contract, Dave can't pay his child support, Dave can't pay this, Dave can't go this place, Dave can't keep anything anywhere. So. Doesn't work, now to I'm your here. knowledge? Um, I believe he's working part time. Okay. I'm not sure. It's not like we're great friends anymore. Did you all fall out over the phone bill you're suing him about? I mean, once they broke up, we didn't really have much to say, except are you gonna pay your bill soon? Pay the bill that he incurs with you? Um, that, yes. So, I haven't seen anything. Let me hear from you, man. You haven't been getting high, have you? <laughs> no, no, I haven't. Right, so maybe you can talk. All right, well, you know, I met Patrick through his cousin, who I dated. Um, after we broke up, uh, you know, things fell apart, but um, we still talked occasionally. Uh, I've had this phone bill with him for about three years now. We haven't gotten to that. Did you want to respond to any of the things he said about you? He pretty much said you were oh, lazy. Oh, yeah, no, I... Uh, lazy, don't pay your child support, uh, don't pay your bills in general. No, in uh, 2000. You only work part-time. I do not work part-time. Um, you just, don't work at all? I do work. Oh, I, you work full-time. I work over full-time, yeah. Gotcha, all right. Yeah. Um, Right before I just started this new job, I've been working at for about a month now. Um, I was before working. Before that, you didn't work. You're right. Before I worked, <laughs> before I was working about seventy. You hours had a, a good week. thirty days in. Oh, I worked four times. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, uh, I actually worked very hard. I have two kids. I'm, I have a lot of bills, a lot of responsibility to pay for. Uh, I've worked, I was working for, you know, two jobs for almost three years. I found a job that I had overtime. I was working seventy hours a week. Um, I, you know, I paid my bill for almost three full years and then in, including your child support including child support all right i just wanted to clear your image up that's a pretty bad daycare. reflection on any guy i've paid daycare you know formula diapers yeah, right. wipes i've you know car payments rent bills you know i have a lot of a lot of responsibility to pay Good. for all right um so i lost my job july of 2013 two weeks after my son was born um so I couldn't afford the phone bill. Why are you suing him over the phone bill? Well, the objective around the time that he lost his job and had his son and things was he was supposed to just let the contract run out because we had agreed he had... First start with it. entering into the contract for the phone. Start there. Um, the line had existed already, and he just took it over and was going to run it out. And when since was he that? was paying, that was around 2011. Um, and since he was paying, I let him upgrade the first time because he was paying on time. However, right before they had their second son, um, he had been like very late a few times, like probably five or six times. So they decided he couldn't afford it and he was gonna let it run out. And then all of a sudden, oh, the kid's being born, so I want a new phone so I can take nice pictures. I'm gonna upgrade and sign a two-year contract. I wasn't there to sign and the your contract. Name? Yeah, they just went and did it. And I said, oh, look, I don't know. Okay, are you gonna keep paying it? Yeah, I guess that's the plan. So now, he stopped paying it because he lost his job like right around that time. When did he um, stop? Well, I had decided to let go whatever he owed me before August because he mm -hmm. made a payment even though he technically okay. shouldn't have because he had other financial things As going As of on. August. 
as of August, he was still supposed to be paying $65 a month, which he agreed to me in a text message. Mm -hmm. I just made sure that he was still going to because okay. I knew that they were going and through And what things. months has he failed to pay? Um, every month after September. So All he right. made the payment in August and then never made a payment again. September up through, when was it turned off? Um, I terminated the line in January, but I was billed for January and February. All right, now 65 a month, those months? Yep, but I believe November, December, and January, it was only like 899 because I had it suspended. 899 And I had given him the option to make smaller payments to me just to keep okay. it on, but he decided to go and pay for a different phone anyway. Okay, so 899 for three of those yeah, months. Yeah, so it's not terrible, but... All right. And then I have the $350 early termination fee that I had to do because I couldn't keep paying for a line that wasn't right. being paid for. Sorry, what do you say? Um, well, after I lost my job, um, I, I planned on keeping it on. Um, I, I upgraded the line thinking that I Did still... Did you plan had, on how you were going to pay for it? Well, I still had my job when I upgraded it, so I didn't know that I was going to lose all of my income to not pay for it. Um, I had planned on continuing the, to, mm -hmm. play, to pay for the, the phone bill, obviously. Um, I did upgrade it before my son was born so I could have a new phone. You were still working? Well, I was still working, yes. And then I was terminated from my job two weeks after. Mm -hmm. um, I made a big payment in August, you know, what I could, um, working part-time jobs. Uh, I was working at a gas station for seven twenty-five an hour, and ha I was paying half of my paycheck towards child support. So, I mean, I couldn't obviously pay for the phone bill. All right. Did you obviously ask him to turn it off immediately when you found out you couldn't no. pay for it? No, because I thought I was going to find a, be able to find another job so I could afford it. Oh, okay. When did you figure out you couldn't? Um, after I found a job that didn't pay me enough money. Oh, and when was that? Uh, August. All right. So why didn't you have it cut off in August when you I couldn't afford found the, the job termination that you... fee either. Pardon me? I couldn't afford the termination fee. Well, well, now you have the logic is that. You couldn't afford the termination fee, so you continued to keep it on, which would cost you money every month in and of itself. I thought I'd that be able to... That made sense to you? No. But I thought I'd be able to find a job that I could afford. You just said that you determined that you couldn't in August. With that job that I had. Right. There. And yeah. that's when you stopped paying. So that's when you should have said, well, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to afford this. Well, I was Sir, still looking what, for what's your defense job? to paying it now? Let's leave all that behind us. What's your defense to not paying it now? Uh, Is it poor mouth again? You don't <laughs> have the money? Yeah, I don't. I don't Good have enough. Money. All right. Judgment for the plaintiff. His only defense is he doesn't have the money. That's not a legal defense. 675 is your judgment. Have a good day. Thank you. I'm gonna get paid and we're not gonna speak anymore, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's I don't I don't agree with it, but it is what it is.